five to five. Rush is not the start of the bout. Uh, quarter to six. Already, people are turning up. You can see. Looks like, well, looks like quite a lot of people. The demands that we are making on the Earth are now reaching their capacity. Our planet is not an infinite resource, yet that's how we've treated it. I want my daughter's daughter or daughters to be standing here in a hundred years time, not underwater. I want them to be here in a hundred years time to celebrate their grandparents and their great grandparents so that a chain of women who tried to change, change the world can stretch back through history. But unless we act now, we actually have very little chance. We have roughly 99 months left to stabilize planetary warming. Because by 2050, all of us in the UK must have reduced our CO2 emissions to 80% if the planet is to survive. Women have transformed the world for the better, but now we have to act again, and we have to take up that baton that's been passed through the generations on behalf of all women, and especially in those women in countries where they still do not have a voice. So next we have Joy Grizzly, who's vice chair of that cornerstone of society, the WI. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The vision of the WI is far-reaching. We are women that want to and can make a difference. The WI has shown that it's not just eco-warriors that are concerned with the threat we face to our environment and our way of life. Our members and women alike are taking up the challenge to change their lifestyles. We've already seen action in our homes, in the way we think and use energy, the way we travel and how we use our food. I recently took part in our WI Carbon Challenge to discover and reduce my carbon footprint. Our imaginations really become so impoverished that we cannot see the world economic collapse is painful environmental collapse is utterly unbearable. Can we really not see that the measures we need to address climate change are precisely the same measures that can address the final financial crisis? The massive investment in renewable energies, the massive investment in energy efficiency would help those in fuel poverty. It would provide thousands of good green collar jobs and it would also protect us from the worst of climate change. And yet instead of that, we have a government that is sleepwalking towards catastrophe. A hundred years ago, Emmeline Pickhurst said, to be able to be militant is a privilege. And she was right. She understood, as we understand, that direction is the last resort of a democracy. She knew, I know, that there is a time for, and that there is a time for action. Friends, the time for words is over. Passion is right now, right here, up to and down.